Peter Jackson, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. Discover what driving force inspired them. I begged my parents to buy me a uh, Super 8 camera. And they bought me a little uh, eight millimeter brownie camera and you know, and I shot the usual family stuff. I said, oh, now let's go make monster movies. Sort of this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing. Which... I started collecting famous monsters right from the get-go. What's really fascinating about this whole amateur movie thing, especially then, was first of all, how many really young kids were doing this. And I made my first one when I was nine. I was always really creative and I got uh, a lot of satisfaction from making things. I was making things up, taking my grandmother's old wigs, cutting the hair off, gluing them on my friends' faces with Elmer's glue. And I put wire inside the arms and I sort of animated them as best I could with my Super 8 camera. We had the most passionate motivation to create one science fiction or monster movie after another. George Pal filmed The Time Machine, so we had to do a time machine. He did War of the Worlds, we had to have our flying saucer in War of the Worlds. And I've got my own little spaceship stuff kind of from Congress to Space that George Pal had done. There was something so magical about stop motion animation and I kind of feel a little bit sad for kids today because they they really don't they don't quite have that. You coined the term sci-fi. Yes I did about 25 years ago I was riding around the automobile had the radio on and I believe somebody mentioned hi-fi so since science fiction is always on the top of my mind if I'd uh, been into James Bond at the time probably would have been spy-fi. Sci-fi boys.